Hey everybody, it's Mary Page, and this is an update on the 15-gallon tank that I left for five weeks. Um, I'm going to show you all the videos of what I came into when I got home. My plans were to scrape it down. The water levels had dropped. The ammonia was off the chain. I ended up adding three little bristle nose in here, which you can see I'm back here still working. Uh, I got home, when did I get home? Saturday? got home Saturday and I dropped these guys in here and they have just done an incredible job I thought I was gonna have to scrape the tank down I was so tired I ended up just filling the tank up with water doing some water changes and basically letting it go a couple of days you can still see a little bit of the scum left over back there and they're still working but and there's a little bit of algae left right back there but these little guys have done a tremendous job. My job of fern up here got burnt up because, like I said, the water level was below this piece of wood here at the top. All my filters were basically just about stopped running. They were getting ready to kick it, kick the dust. But in my betta's fins are a little bit raggedy, but they're doing better now. Everybody's swimming and doing well. I had dropped this, uh, dwarf water lily in here from aquarium co-op and this was five weeks of growth it was dropped in the tank a day before I left so this is the color it is and how much growth there's been in five weeks which is pretty awesome and I lost a lot of the tops of my plants like my pogo stem and stellatus octopus it was all like stuck to the top of this log but my original plan was to come in and scrape this tank down, and I didn't have to. These little guys, absolutely, I hope they don't OD on algae because they <laughs> ate a lot and still are eating. The only thing I did was uh, I did another water change this morning, and I did just wipe the front glass off on the inside. But this is all them. They did this. I did not scrape the tank like I said I was going to do in the original video when I came home. Sorry about the reflection. But this is what we have still left going on. I think it looks pretty fantastic considering how long it was left. The worst thing I can tell you was the water, you know, no water changes hurt it the worst. But everybody's doing well and they sure are happy we're home. So, okay, y'all, I'm going to take you back on the journey and let you see what it looked like when I first got home. All right. Hey, everybody, it's Mary Page, and this is an update on my, what was a very nice planted tank. Uh, this tank has been left for five weeks with no maintenance. You can see where the water level was when I got home. We had an emergency. We had a death in the family, and um, we had to leave, and... We've been gone for, you know, well over a month. I've got a lot of this cyanobacteria. My fish are a little raggedy looking, but they survived. It really stressed me out to leave them, but they're still here. But you can see all this. And my dwarf water lily came up. Like, I had just put the bulb down. So that's just a month of growth. But my Nubius, everything was it, getting a serious, like, ammonia burn. All the fish, you can see their tails, but they're, they're still okay. I got the ammonia levels down finally. Uh, still, you know, it's still showing a little bit, but it's more yellow now than it is the dark green color it was. That was after adding prime and uh, filling the tank up. And I'm getting ready to scrape all this off put the plants down that have come up. Um, i got to figure out what to do about this cyanobacteria. I do have a, a little 3 watt green killing machine back here. It's not very big, but it, it is effective. I, I can recommend these. This is a 15 gallon tank, and it's for, you know, small tanks. It's, but it really does work for the money that, that I bought it for. Um, it came off of Amazon. Uh, so I'm going to scrape all this and clean it up, get this mulm off the bottom, get rid of this moss ball, and I'll be back in a little bit to show you guys 
how this goes. But if you wonder about leaving your fish, they were fed like every three to four days, maybe once a week when I could get a neighbor to come over and feed them. But so far, this is what we're dealing with. Okay, y'all. See you again. See you in a little bit. Bye-bye. This ends the saga for now of this tank that was left for so long. And I'm just so thankful for these little bristle nose. They did such a wonderful job. I've got a pair of them in here. And I think I'm going to name them Lee and Sue. And the third one, his name's probably going to be Alex. I like to name my fish after YouTube people. Because <laughs> they're my friends. But anyway, um, like I said, all I did was wipe the glass off when I got done. After the water changes, I didn't have to scrape it. The bristle nose took care of that for me. I did run this little 3 watt UV filter for about 12 hours after I got all that cyanobacteria and all the dead plant trimmings and, you know, did a, water, did a couple of water changes. But they're all doing great. I'm excited that they're still here. And um, the little bristlenose, a couple of them will probably get moved to other tanks. And I also have this 33-gallon that some of these guys will be going into. Because there might be too many fish in here. But for now, it's thriving. They're doing good. And I'm really thankful you all stopped by to see it. And I'll get with you later and make another video about some of these jars and my tub and this little girl up here that's getting a new tank and this one getting back into a tank <clears throat> and getting these capped with sand because you know who's always watching this guy right here father fish if you don't watch father fish please do he's a lot of fun but he also has so much wisdom and he really loves his community so i love you guys i hope y'all have a great day and I will be seeing you again soon. Bye for now.